Hello my beautiful friends, it's Amanda here and today we're talking about some new palettes launching soon from NARS. This is part of their summer collection. These two palettes as well as a bunch of new lip pencils are going to be available from NARS.com and in NARS boutiques on April 4th. I'm sure they will roll out to the other NARS retailers, so Sephora, Ulta, Nordstrom, shortly thereafter. I'll try to keep the description box updated as these products show up in other retailers. The information that came along with these palettes from NARS does not include pricing info. I'm guessing just based on the size that these are going to be in the $49 to $59 range. That's just my best guess when I compare these to their recent cheek palettes and the Skin Deep palette. I think these are going to be probably either $49 or $59 a piece. The artwork on the covers is very, very pretty. Thanks to my ring light, you can see this is a reflective, very shiny plastic. This is not textured, but it has this cool like sand dune kind of look to it. The sides and the back are the classic NARS soft touch matte black packaging. We do see the shade names pictured on stickers on the back here. The shade names are not printed inside. That's just not something NARS does though I wish they would, along with making their palettes easier to open. When we take a look inside, there is a nice big mirror in here. There are four eyeshadow pants on top, and then a highlighter and a bronzer. This palette does not come with a brush or any kind of applicator. This is the Summer Lights palette, and when you look up close here, you can see that same kind of sand print. I think it looks like sand. I don't know. What do you think it looks like? This is the Hot Nights palette, so it has more of a coral look versus the warm tan look of the other palette. Exact same layout in here, four shadows on top and then highlighter and bronzer. Same beautiful printed powders. Different shade selection in here, of course. Here are the palettes side by side, Summer Lights and Hot Nights just so that you can get a visual of the similarities and differences in the shades here. Before we do the swatches, I wanna point out none of these shades are mattes and none of them are super, super metallic. Everything across the board in both palettes is a very soft, satiny finish. Some of the shades are more of a satin matte, some are more of a shimmery satin, but across the board here, there's no mattes, there's no intense shimmer. It's all this very glowy, very fitting for summertime kind of finish. Let's go ahead and get into the swatches. I am going to show you both finger and brush swatches of both palettes. The swatches are done on the inside of my arm with no primer, no foundation, just the powders straight onto my skin. The finger swatches will be pictured on top and then the corresponding brush swatch will be below. As always for my brush swatches, I'll be using my e.l.f. flat eyeshadow brush and I'll clean the brush off in between each shade using my Vera Mona color switch. First, we're taking a look at the Summer Lights palette. Just a reminder that on top are the finger swatches and then the brush swatches are pictured below. I do think that these powders perform really well with a brush. As you can see, they look just about as opaque and as even as the finger swatches do, which is something I really like about this formula. The first four swatches that you see are the eyeshadows and then the last two are the highlighter and the bronzer from this palette. Now taking a look at the Hot Nights palette, you will notice there's a lot more variation in this one from those very light shimmers to that much deeper, smokier purple shade. And we are getting a little bit more of a pop of color here with the brighter red. However, I do think the bronzer and highlighter in this palette look very, very similar to the Summer Lights palette. So the eyeshadows are kind of the defining feature here. Now that you've seen all the swatches, let's jump into a quick tutorial using the Hot Nights palette. I do use every single shade in this palette on my face and eyes. And then I'll wrap up all my thoughts on these palettes at the end. 
I'm going to begin with the face powders first using this bronzer on my Luxie angled brush. I was very happy with how this bronzer applied. It didn't look like there was a ton of product on the brush, but you can see it shows up pretty well on the skin just with one quick application. And I do like how rosy this bronzer is. So it looks very sun-kissed across the cheeks and the forehead. The highlighter is a little bit softer. It's not a super bright beaming metallic highlight, but I don't think that would really fit in well with this palette. So I do like this highlighter. I think it looks beautiful with just the bronzer and highlighter on the cheeks. With this look, I don't really find myself missing that super bright highlighter. I think with just these two products on the cheeks, it looks very soft and glowy and natural. So I really love the way that these two powders work together. Now starting on the eyes, of course, as always, I'm priming with my MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly so that I have a nice eye base to work on. Then I'm going to set that base using my MAC Studio Waterweight Pressed Powder. That way it's nice and smooth and my shadows won't look choppy. I'm going to take the bronzer shade first and I'm going to work that into my crease as my transition shade. I love this sort of monochromatic look that I get when I use my bronzer as an eyeshadow as well. Then I'm going to add a little depth. I'm going to mix the two deeper shades from the palette. So the red sort of tones down the darkness of the purple, but I'm still getting that nice depth on the outer corner there. Then I'm going to use my finger to apply this very medium mauve shade and sort of blend that into the deeper shades on the outer part of my lid to cover the entire eyelid. I'm also going to take the bronzer again and just blend that into the crease as well as adding that along my lower lash line with a small flat brush just to bring a little balance to this look. And of course, I'll be highlighting my inner corner using the two lightest, brightest shades from the palette. Then I just curled my lashes and added some of my favorite L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. And that's my finished look. This is so soft and very natural. It still has a sort of sultry, sexy quality to it because of those deeper shadows. This is the kind of look I love because I could wear this anywhere. This is work appropriate. This is date night appropriate. Just simple and pretty. Overall, I feel like I like these palettes, but I don't love them. Quality wise, they're better than the Voyager palettes. I just reviewed those a week or two ago on my channel and I was not really happy with the shadows in those palettes. So I'd say these are better than those Voyager palettes and not quite up to the Skin Deep palette. These are sort of somewhere in the middle and I think they're supposed to be more sheer. So I'm not really gonna knock them for that. Lately, a lot of the NARS formulas have been these more sheer, very buildable satiny formulas that are really easy to layer, they're easy to manipulate, and I think that that's great because it works well for somebody who is a makeup artist. You can get a lot of different kinds of looks out of these palettes, and I think it's also very user-friendly for just the average customer as well because it's not this super intense, really, really pigmented to the point where it's difficult to work with type of formula. I hope that you're following me here, but I've seen a lot of people knocking these more recent NARS palettes for being sheer, and I think that they're supposed to be that way. They're supposed to be buildable and easily manipulated so that you really can use them to achieve whatever kind of look you want. Personally, I like this kind of formula because I am somebody that wants a little bit more toned down. And when I'm wearing makeup in my day-to-day -day life, even if I'm doing like a special occasion, there are a lot of times when I want a really bare face kind of look. If you're like me and you like that more toned down, that more bare face look, or if you're just starting out, you're just learning, this is a great formula because it's not one that you can easily go overboard with. So I see a lot of people enjoying this from makeup artists to teens and especially people with more mature skin. This 
soft satin formula is very, very forgiving on the skin. As I've said many times, I don't watch other people's reviews before I do mine because I don't want to get influenced by their opinions. I have a feeling people are not going to give these palettes great reviews because right now the trend is bright colors and lots of texture and really, really pigmented. And I love that too. I think that's great. And when a palette is meant to be that, I love that. But I think there's definitely a place in the makeup world for these palettes. And I do see a lot of people enjoying these and keeping them as staples in their makeup bag. Personally, I prefer this Hot Nights palette. I think there's just more variation between the eyeshadows. With the Summer Lights one, it's just a lot of those like orangey, warm, tan kind of shades, which I have plenty of those, so I just don't find it as exciting. If you don't have a lot of those kind of colors, then you may feel otherwise. But for me, the Hot Nights palette is just a little bit more intriguing and a little bit more useful in my collection. The main thing that I think this collection dropped the ball on was the face powder colors that they chose, like both the bronzers and the highlighters in both of these palettes are really geared towards light and maybe medium skin tones, but everybody who's in that medium tan deep category, you're not gonna be able to use these. I really wish that they had offered a much deeper option in one of these palettes or even added a third palette to the collection so that we could really have a light, medium, and deep face option. I'm kind of surprised by this because usually NARS does a much better job of being inclusive with their products, with their palettes, and I just think they missed the mark on that. Especially for a summer collection, you know? Even the pale girls over here will be getting a little bit of a tan. Like, we need a little more depth. I'm just saying. Do you remember this palette? This is the Atomic Blonde palette from last year. I loved the range in here with this much deeper bronzer which I was still able to use as long as I used a light hand. I feel like this was just so much of a better choice because so many more people could use this bronzer. So I wish that these new Summer 19 face palettes had gone a deeper route with the bronzers. Just my opinion. Now's the time when I want to hear what you think about these palettes. Which one's your favorite? Are you a fan of these more sheer buildable powders? Do you feel like you don't need this? This is not something you want in your collection? Are you living for the very bare face kind of nude eye look? I always love to hear what you think so leave your comments down below and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Too close. Let me look and see what they said about these. But for some reason, NARS loves to make their palettes so freaking hard open. Color switch for my color swatch. She's salty. What are you, a pretzel? Cause you're salty. Wow, that was, that was a bad mom joke. I apologize to everyone who listened to that just now. Using, wait, shit, shit. <laughs> Dated with implying, implying, you don't imply your makeup, you apply your makeup. Doing great. And we do this, 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 uh, uh, <laughs> of all the words to not be able to pronounce, palette isn't a good one in my line of work. Do you feel, do you, <laughs> She's eloquent. She is eloquent. I'm sure a lot of people will think that this is boring. I would rock this day tonight. And I love a versatile look, you know. <laughs> Do you guys want to see a lip swatch video of the new lip pencils? If you want to see it, I'll do it. If you don't want to see it, I might do it anyway. <laughs> but, you know, you just don't have to click on things you don't want to watch. Groundbreaking, I know. Okay. All right, salt queen. <laughs> See you later, bye.